Good morning. Things are looking okay right now outside. You can see that nearly full moon as we're getting ready to start the day today. We've got some uh, clear skies at this point in time, and we're looking at conditions that are going to be a bit on the brisk side for us here as we start off our day today. If you're getting ready to head to Frisco here, we want to get you your forecast right away. A look at conditions starting off today. We're going to see that chance for some snow. We're going to talk about that coming up here. But as we uh, take a look heading south toward uh, the Texas and heading through the plains, either if you're flying or driving right now, things are looking quiet for the day. Again, we're seeing that snow moving in for later today impacting us. And as we continue into the rest of the morning or into the overnight hours tonight and into tomorrow morning, we start to see a storm system developing down there. And that's going to lead to some soggy conditions, especially for those traveling Again, Thursday and into Friday and Saturday is going to be tough out at the game, too. If we see some of this rain and potentially some snow impact us, this is in the morning hours on Friday. You can see rain Kansas City and south toward Frisco and then heading into the midnight time frame uh, overnight Friday night and into Saturday. That transition over to some snow starts to happen on the northern side of this, the colder side of this storm system and rain still down in the Frisco area. However, notice this on Saturday morning, we've got that snow starting to change over and dipping southward. So it appears we may be bringing that wintry weather with us down toward Frisco into Saturday. So starting off with tailgating with some uh, areas of perhaps flurries, flakes, light snow to some rain or a little bit of a mix. Eventually it does move on as we continue on through the afternoon and clears the area. And if you're heading home Saturday night, this will be moving out at that point in time. So uh, can't quite escape that active weather lately. Our temperatures into the teens and even in some cases 20s below zero. Wind chills are looking tough. We are into the teens, 20s and even 30s below. It's 33 below your wind chill in Langdon right now. We're at 15 below in Fargo. That's our air temperature too. So we're uh, we're not really seeing much wind. So wind chill not much of a factor. And then there are some other places into the 20s below. 27 below your wind chill in both Bedette and down in Fergus Falls. And notice that we don't have much wind. So even that little bit does factor into uh, making it feel that much worse out there for us. But the wind, if we do have any, it's either easterly or southeasterly. Most of us reporting, or I should say a lot of us, reporting some calm conditions. Visibility is looking pretty good. The one spot that is going to be the exception this morning is Faustin at two and a half miles right now. And looking at your radar and satellite map, we're looking at some quiet weather right here in the valley, but notice what's out to the west of us. We've got some snow west of Bismarck, and that is heading our way as we head through the day. So here's a look at that hour by hour planner. Expect to have that snow and cloud cover slowly working its way in. With it comes some warmer air. So we're going to try to climb out of these temperatures here uh, this morning and uh, see some of that cloud cover take over. The wind also increases with this. So even though those temperatures are warming up, it's not going to be that pleasant out there. That's for sure, especially if you're caught in the snow. That's going to start up around noon today up in the northwest, continuing to make its way gradually to the east. And you can see Northern Valley is definitely the focus for this. That wind gusting above 30 miles per hour. So anywhere where we do have that snow falling, your visibility is going to be reduced and there may be some blowing snow elsewhere as well. And this continues into the late night hours for tonight. So travel might get kind of tricky up in the north where we're looking at that snowfall potential. And then as this continues to clear out, we might get that wraparound snow reaching farther south, impacting other areas in the valley. So we're looking at about three to six inches of snow up in the north along the border and lesser amounts in the south. A look at your seven day planner. Expect to have temperatures that are going to be up and and down here in your forecast for Thursday, a high of 20, and then right back down again into the single digits, just barely above zero Friday and into Saturday. And next week looks even worse at this point uh, in time. Some brutal weather on the way. Yeah. Thank you, Lisa. Coming up on the Valley today, who says you can't surf during the winter? <laughs> and in Fargo, nonetheless, we're showing you a gnarly new way to stay in shape next here.